Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Starbound. So, solo again for me, it's probably going to be one or two, two more episodes like this. Uh, kind of depending on, on how things go. Huh. Oh, I'm tilling and untilling the soil. That's, that's the problem here. I was wondering about that. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, for starters, we're going to go plant those, um underwater pod things that I have that I have access to and um, can in fact till can I can I till them on the side looks like you can plant them on the side but not that well okay one way or another uh, so we're gonna do that oh I am running low on food ah, whatever we'll be fine so we need to go get some more water I gotta figure out how I can even gather water so what am I doing today um it's actually super simple uh, today, I'm going to turn this planet into a giant farm. Why? Because money. Uh, on the last episode, we more or less discovered that food is worth a fair amount. Crops, crops are worth an okay amount. Ooh, it's raining. Uh, nice thing is this planet tends to rain a lot. Makes my life a easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to level the entire freaking planet, and then we're going to turn it into, um... A giant field and then we're going to continuously grow crops on it until we are stupid rich and effectively every every day um, I don't know whenever I whenever I need money I'm gonna just sit down uh, in crop town and farm you know just go pick up all my resources and just just be very pleased with myself I really need to get the uh, the expander, so this thing is 4x4. Four four. That'll probably help a fair amount, too. I mean, really, I could I could just do the shitty thing and just go sideways, but I kind of wanted to just close it off. I'm not entirely sure how, this, how enemies are going to spawn, given this situation. That's an interesting question. I should also look to see if uh, crops can be done uh, underground. Like, if I can have tiers here and stuff like that. For the time being, we're just going to have it be a straight shot. Oh, there's a leaf block in my way. We're gonna have it be a straight shot, mainly because it makes my life easier. Um, because by doing by doing a pure straight shot, uh, wow, that I I'm glad though I I did the uh the faster mining because this is near instantaneous and that's super helpful. Um, but yeah, so what I want to do is just press and hold E while running across the entirety of the surface of this planet. And more or less just immediately have it, um, dump crops on me. Sadly, this place is going to be hideous. Like, it's not going to be a very pretty planet, comparatively. I'll probably leave in some of the background elements. What we might do is almost decorate, uh, a setup like that. But, for now, we're just going to run out all of my, uh, all of my dirt blocks. I guess I can always fill this in later. If I really want to. And then we're gonna hoe it up. Kill this sucker. I was kind of expecting him to almost be, uh, to live through the first shot, but no, that sniper rifle does work. I'm pretty happy about it. I, I like the fact that armor actually grants, uh, a, a damage bonus in this game. I like Terraria a lot, but uh, I always felt it was kind of limited. Uh, in like what you could do and how you could build your character and to be fair I haven't really experimented with like staves and stuff, but so far I've been quite uh, quite pleased with the the weapon distribution in this game It's been really fun using them. Oh, yeah, we could totally just do like this kind of weird backdropy thing I don't know at some at some point we'll decorate this place, but I figure we're just gonna make a nice long flat stretch and Just have that be farmland for a while and some of you might say, you know, there's a better way to do this, and you're probably right. I just don't necessarily know what it is yet, and I'm sure somebody's going to put me on the right path. Or not, I have no idea. Uh, let's see, so let's just pick up this background. Yeah, the wooden fences might be a good, like, background block to work with. But that'll have to be... That'll have to be in a little while. I don't know, I really enjoy this game. I, I, to some degree, I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't do what Gull of Doom did 
and, uh, you know, play this game consistently as is being developed. Because it definitely seems like the sort of thing that I actually would have had a lot of fun with over the years and not just, you know, now. But at the same time, I've got like an infinite number of other things to play, so it's like, eh. I guess it's just scratching that... Oh, crap, you gotta cut them off of the base. It's it's scratching that Stardew Valley itch. And I will admit, I, uh, I should probably go back and quote-unquote finish Stardew Valley. I don't even know if that's actually possible. Um, well, I know it's not possible. Stardew Valley technically goes forever. It's very time-consuming, too. I should see if they have uh, Steam Workshop support, actually. That'd be... that'd be really nice. I know they had some pretty damn good mods, so... Yeah, it might be... might be something to look into. Uh, maybe once I've moved or... or whatever. Yeah, let's leave this... this building as the opposite end of my farmland. Because I actually really like that rune design. And maybe, just maybe, I won't have to destroy it entirely to bu build my farmland through. Okay, so we want to... We want to hoe it up. I wish I couldn't unhoe things. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is going to be a problem. It's going to be really time-consuming. Okay, fine. Let's uh, let's run back home. Actually, why run? I've got a car now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, admittedly... Not exactly uh, a long distance, but I'll take it. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm just going to leave the car there. I'll come back for it. Actually, we should probably pull the car back. Uh, I love the fact that it's a Pokeball. Uh, what I'm going to do is just till the fields... Because the thing, the thing is, I don't even have that many seeds. I just figured I'd, I'd start by tilling it all and go, going from there. Uh, I should probably also um, make sure I've got enough water. For uh, some of that stuff. Oh, actually, I'm almost out of dirt blocks. That's part of the other reason why I wanted to do this. Uh, I've got a ton of blocks that I don't really need. And they're just kind of... Taking up space? What is that? Heavy stone brick. Looks nice. Might have to use that in, like, the background decoration. Because, yeah, what I'll probably do is make it look like I have a building around the outside. There's a specific type of, uh... There's a mod that I've got running. Uh, that makes automated sprinklers. Uh, and it's like a, a placeable ceiling tile. And so if I can... If I can have like a bunch of those set up over all of my crops we'd be in a really good position to have like a crazy farm but for now i'm just gonna do this hopefully it'll rain soon otherwise i could just water it i think w the watering can is a little bit more efficient than my oh if i just hold it down i won't unho uh what i've already hoed so i can i can very slowly just inch my way okay this actually works that's good. I was wondering if there was going to be a better way to do this. And the answer is, here we are. Okay. And obviously we're going to have to wait for it to rain again. But I've noticed this world rains. It rains fairly often here. Maybe not as much as like a jungle world. I should definitely take a look to see if there's um, a better world for that sort of thing. But it'll be okay. I should have figured out about the... Uh, you won't unho things that you've just hoed during one left click session thing. Ah, whatever. Okay. I don't know how long these stay watered. But let's just water all of them. Yeah, see, I, I wish I could do this with a hoe. But sadly, it doesn't work. It'd be kind of nice if you could upgrade everything. Um. Like, like your matter manipulator. Even weapons. Like, I actually really wish this game had a, a substantive weapon upgrade system. From switching out abilities to, like, adding extra features. Or just, like, making them slightly stronger. Like, I'd love it, I'd love it if I could, like, reinforce my, you know, iron weapon with tungsten. Or 
Was it tungsten? Titanium. I know titanium's in the game. I've, I've already forgotten my resource names, just because there's so many different games with resources and whatever. Mostly my fault, but still. Um, but yeah, if I could... If I could, um... Go through, and I should probably water. Uh... Uh... If I could go through and, like, upgrade my, my weapons across the board, that'd actually be really handy. Okay, so... I'm gonna warp back home. We're gonna make another cooking bench here. Mostly for the sake of convenience. Eventually, I might also build a, a flat-out teleporter. Okay, kitchen counter. Go back to Crop Town. I think teleportation is faster in single player. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's let's get this down. Oh, the lantern's in the way. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we gotta figure out, of all of these things, what's worth the most? Honestly, let's look it up. Food by cost effectiveness starbound. Okay, cause if we could, if, okay, is there a list of food pixel values? Okay, somebody made a list of the most expensive ones. Okay, here we go. This, that is... Oof. I'm... Okay. You guys can't see this, but uh, top four more, most expensive is a giant pain in the butt. Looks like pizza is the way to do it. However, I'm going to say based on pure efficiency, it's not worth it. Uh, let's see. What about, I guess, food? Let, let's see if there's just a, a good food thing. No, it's just going to tell me the, the effects. I mean, the effects are useful. I'm not going to I'm not gonna deny that. But I want to sell stuff. And who knows? There might actually be uh, a better way of making money than this. But I figured this would be a really innocuous way of making as much money as I possibly could. Um, without breaking the, uh, our playthrough. Because I, I really don't want to, like, step on, uh, Sleep Cycles or, or Gull's toes by, like, going out of my way with this character, but I definitely don't want to play this game twice. So the easiest solution that I have is, well, this, actually. Which is to water and harvest at the same time. Wow, this is incredibly effective. But, uh, what I'm going to do is go out of my way... And apparently I forget to harvest this cotton. I'm going to go out of my way to uh, water all of my plants and harvest at the same time. We're going to make a bunch more seeds. Uh, I know automatoes are pr a pretty good cash crop. Uh, so I think what I'm just going to do is sit down and figure out what crops I need, uh, are worth the most. Both in like raw form. Because who knows, maybe the raw forms are actually worth more. I'm not entirely sure. I know, I know we need more sugar. And stuff like that. Uh, it'd also be interesting to see the direct, like, which of these grows the fastest and certain other things. We also need to figure out where the heck uh, we get silkworm pods or something like that. Okay, so let's sort. We've got a couple of seeds. Let's go here. I'm going to make a bunch of automato seeds. I know for a fact those are worth, those are worth cash. What about, what about just straight up? Carrots themselves are worth an amount. Current corn worth an amount. Tomatoes, four tomatoes, 60 each. Uh, let's see, pus plums are, actually looking at it now, I almost want to say that the raw ingredients are worth just as much, like uh, potatoes are worth 80 each. Pearl peas, 40 each. So pearl peas definitely go low on the um, on the listing. Though, I want to say, looking at that, I might be able to harvest multiple pearl peas from one. Uh, automatoes, actually. Oh, wait, no, those are auto automato seeds. So current corn is... Um, is 80 each. Pus plum. You know what? Do I have my phone here? I do have my phone here. We're going to we're going to use a calculator for this. Um 
Cause yeah, I figure if I just go, if I just go crazy, uh, farm man, I'll be rich. Uh, but I won't, I won't progress any faster than, um, I won't progress any faster than like gull or sleep cycles. So pus plums are actually worth a ton of money. So I think there's our answer. Can I, can I get pus plum seeds? Because everything else, I mean, is definitely worth money, but pus plum apparently is worth a stupid amount in comparison. I mean, we don't know about like toxic crop and like a couple other things that I've never seen before. Also, uh, oh, no, that's the seed. So we'll have to, we'll say, have to see about like pineapples and stuff. But I guess I'm just going to have a, a gross ass pus plum farm. Well, I guess that's fine. As long as I have, like, one of each of these, we'll be okay. Plus, all the ingredients that aren't pus plums, I can always turn into uh, other things. I will admit, looking at it now, pus plums might grow a little bit slower. Uh, which could be the issue. Or it could be an issue. But still. Okay, let's sort by seeds. Actually, it's a bit wasteful, but I think I'm... Oh, not wasteful, but uh, time-consuming. But I think I'm going to start putting all the pus plums over on the left side uh mainly just because they're ugly they're ugly and gross and they remind me of terrible things and i don't want to deal with uh the memory of pus lumps oh crap there we go also, it's raining again. Yeah, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good area for for rain. So yeah, pearl pea might not be the most useful. Automatoes, I know at the very least, grow into useful stuff. Uh, so what I'll probably do is just fit it all in. Also got the mod that makes it so um, larger crops take less space. And eventually, I'll probably come through and like hack everything down and sort it properly. But for the time being, this will be fine. Let's see, do I have any other seeds here? The answer is no. Well, that's okay. What was the... What did people say about the most valuable crop? Coral creep. Is the fastest to grow, never needs replanting and watering. It's under a water crop. Refruit time is three minutes. The problem is I don't need refruit time because I don't want to wait. Uh, what I prefer is uh, what I what I'd rather have is something that's worth a lot and I can come back for like once every couple of minutes. Well, let, let's see how uh, coral, whatever coral coral creep. How much is it worth? It's worth a hundred. Okay. And it has no recipes. So we need to get coral creep seeds. And that'll actually work out pretty well for me. Because uh, what, I'm, what I am want to do is... Oh yeah, this is going to be perfect. Okay, I don't see any crops to harvest here. We're going we're gonna to warp back. We're going to go to the ship. And then we're immediately going to beam down to the orbited world. There's a couple of reasons for this. Let me figure out something. Okay, so how does this work? Using excavation mode. What the hell is excavation mode? Oh, well, there's our answer. So I'm going to harvest a stupid amount of water. There's no way I'm going to be able to deplete this this planet. Uh, luckily, I don't think there's a difference between salt water and otherwise. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to take like hundred uh, a couple hundred maybe a two thousand water and we're gonna fill a underground farm directly below our main farm and if I can go if I can go find some of that coral stuff coral current coral whatever coral creep there we go if I can fill some of uh oops uh if I can fill that entirely with uh coral creep then we're in the money because yeah it doesn't make as much as um as pus plums 
But if I want, if I want like a major cra cash crop and we just have a bunch of coral creep set up, uh, we can more or less just sit there, uh, sit around on the planet and just collect them every once in a while. They're not going to sell for as much, but it's money. Because, <sighs> yeah, I, I want to be able to afford stuff. I guess while we go down, we might as well uh, harvest water. So I figured we're just going to go around looking for crops. I think I can press Q to see where they are. Uh, so while we're, we're, while we're going along the bottom here. Oh, hey. There's a well. Oh, am I maxed out on water? I am maxed out on water. Funny. Okay, let's get rid of the sandstone. I love it how there's like sort of a water block, which is amusing. Okay, let's get rid of bone. We don't really need that. Got a lot of junk here that I don't really need. Dirt, more dirt. I really wish uh, pressing the sort button would actually uh, stack all of your blocks. Because I've got snow, I've got slush. Those are all kind of useless. I really wish uh, the this inventory specifically had infinite pillar blocks. You know what? I'll I'll make more of those if I want them. That'll be good for the time being. There's also tomb brick. Okay, so I think that I think that's enough water for the time being. Let's um. Oh. Well, that sucks. My hovercraft doesn't work underwater. Okay. Well, I guess we're just stuck here for a while. I guess I'll just swim around and deal with it. I was hoping I'd be a little bit faster. Ember coral fragment. No. I don't really know what that's going to do. Oh, fish fingers fish dumplings. Well, that's cool. I'm going to just hit everything here. Maybe not. The little underwater lights are kind of nice. Fish, though. They're like birds. They're worth money. Are they? Having a hard time telling. They're worth very small amounts of money. All we need to do is find one of these things, and then, then we have infinite numbers, and I can just constantly recraft it into seeds. I wonder if there be... Well, no, we don't have the Pixel Mart open. Or we have the Pixel Mart, we don't have the other one. Oh well. This is a good time for me to just go around gathering resources anyway. Some durable ass bricks. And we get water balloons. Funny. My one worry is I'm not going to recognize the coral creep as I go by. Because that'd be kind of annoying. Unless that looks like it. However, first... We get a pirate barrel. As a as a cosmetic option for a backpack, fun stuff. I think I think this is it. Yeah, coral creep seed. So we've got coral creep now. I'll probably just keep going around for a little while. But because uh, the more I get, the better. Plus, I don't mind grabbing the occasional piece of loot because that also sells for money. But I'm, I'm glad we've already got the main thing we're going for. That is a fast-ass fish. Luckily, I'm a stabby-ass uh, kind of guy. Yeah, so I, I like I like ocean planets. I'm looking forward to, to coming here with uh, with Tom and, and Gull. It's just kind of nice, you know, kind of doing this sort of thing on my own. Occasionally. So there's... More coral creep, coral creep seeds, and we've got a tiny little house. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Oh. Do you get wood from... Oh, kelp. Huh. I figure I'm going to preserve this little chamber. I don't really know why. It just feels right to do so. So we're going to make a little underwater trench here. Love the music for the underwater zone. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how this sort of thing's supposed to work. Well, whatever. I was gonna try and preserve it, but I guess no dice. 
Yeah, usually the air pressure is supposed to keep the water out, but I, I guess that's not how this game works. Well, whatever. At least, I think that's how it works. It's been a long time since I've I've done any level of, like, education in regards to physics or, like, fluids or whatever. But unless that place suddenly sprung a leak, that's not supposed to happen. But, eh, whatever. I ain't judging too much. I got the music restorer specifically for, um, for oceans. Which is really nice, actually. I still wish it wasn't quite as, uh, muffled, though. Because, I don't know, I love the music in this game, and it, it feels kind of criminal to only barely be able to hear it. It's also really weird when you're coming in and out of water. Like, it totally makes sense, to some degree. It'd be kind of nice if it was, like, almost a passive upgrade that you could get for your character. Uh, I actually really wish this game had, like, a RPG leveling system talent tree or something or other. Just as a way of, like, uh, adding another level of progression. Like, I, I love the, uh, I love the movement stuff, but it, you only get one tier of it. And it would be really cool if you could kept, like, keep upgrading. And I think I've been here before. We'll keep going a little bit longer, but I think we're hitting the point of, I've been to these places. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. I just recognized the log on the ground, which is like a, a sitting place. I wonder, can I sit down and heal? No. It's just purely cosmetic. We used to play Maple Story for at least a little while. Um, before the hackers started to get, uh, started to be like a serious problem. And you could sit down in like a chair. And it would heal you. At like an uh, accelerated rate. Which is great, because this was before MMOs realized that... Waiting for your character to heal back up to full is a great way to bore people. Oh well. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just one of those where it's just like, I would very much like to be able to, uh, keep playing this game and, like, fighting two or three things would get rid of all of my HP and then I'd just be sitting there frustrated and bored. It was fun with friends. I'd be the sort of game that I'd actually enjoy playing as well. Not Maple Story directly, but like that kind of game is actually really fun. Like a, a platformer with a ton of monsters, kind of RPG-ish, decent-ish combat system and a lot of like options across the board, crafting and classes and whatever. And like, I've been pretty down to clown with that sort of thing. Huh. I'm curious if uh, the center of this planet is Mostly water if you get caves. Mainly wondering because it might make sense to aim specifically for underwater, like, ocean biomes. Uh, specifically when it comes to, uh, like, mining and whatever. Probably not worth it, though. The water might filter in. It might also get seriously laggy. That's another, uh, point to be made. Well, one way or another, I think I've got enough coral creep. And this episode's going on long enough, so let's let's just uh, loot the last of this. I was hoping for like a treasure chest with something cool, but it looks like <coughs> uh, we are we are purely in vegetable territory, and that's fine. So let, let's go back home. I'm so glad I have the ability to breathe underwater almost immediately in this game. I mean, not almost immediate. I probably should have gone to the top of that island and checked for pineapples. Oh, actually, question. Let's let's beam down to the current world for a hot second. I want to see. Does my hover bike go over water? Actually, looking at it, I can't summon it. Period on this planet. Interesting, and a bit frustrating. I was hoping I'd be able to like. Watercraft over. I guess we have to buy the boat. Yeah, we have to buy the boat. Well, that's okay. <laughs>